It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, stress and keto weight loss. Stress and keto weight loss usually don't go well together, but it actually works two ways. I personally have a genetic predisposition to anxiety, panic, and depression. I'm a calm person. I don't have any great fears about life or anything, but when something in my life is off and it can be my diet or something really big happens, I will have anxiety responses that don't make sense to me. For instance, when my anxiety panic system is active, the simplest act can create a fight or flight response in me. And I mean really simple act like reaching for a doorknob. That's because the doorknob isn't really scaring me. It's just the thing I happen to be looking at or reaching for when my stress hormones go haywire. So my stress hormones create a panic feeling. Then my brain interprets it like this. That doorknob is really scary. It caused me to have a panic attack. Then my mind says, no, a doorknob is not scary. It can't harm you. I know it's just my brain chemistry going haywire. It actually took me 11 years to figure this out, mainly because I felt like I was dying all the time. And I don't mean dying like I'm coming home. I mean dying like in a horror movie. Now, why am I telling you all this? Because it was a version of the keto diet that improved my health situation about 95%. I didn't know before that I was gluten sensitive. Gluten had been causing 95% of my problems. Soy was the other problem. Keto removes all grains from the diet, which is a very good thing. Everyone on earth is gluten sensitive. It's only a matter of how much. That's why people don't notice. Some people are 1% gluten sensitive and some are 100%. They really notice. But if you're somewhere in between, it kind of builds up over time what it does to your body. So you gradually get the bad effects from it over time. It was in my early 40s when the dam broke and I started having full-blown anxiety and panic attacks, but I didn't know what they were. I had always thought panic attacks came from being afraid of things, but it's the other way around. The wrong hormones in your system make you afraid of things that others aren't afraid of. This all took years to find out and figure out. But here's the thing. Instead of gaining weight, I lost weight because the way it made me feel. It would hit me right in the stomach, and I would feel queasy, and I'd have no appetite at all. At one point, I started losing weight in a free fall. I know that sounds wonderful to you if you're struggling with being overweight, but it's not. You can die from it. I was getting close before I found the diet and stopped eating the grains. Here's the catch. Your body is not like mine. You are unique. Most people react to stress by overeating. It depends on which hormones get released and which hormones your body can produce. I have a very specific genetic pattern that created mine, and most people don't have what I have. Most people go the other way. The most people try to stop bad feelings of stress with a short-term food rush. That quickly adds up to way too many calories of the wrong kind. This means you have to take a look at your life, see where the stress is coming from, see what you can do about it. Are there people in your life that you can see less of or cut out completely? Are there things that you do that stress you out that you think you have to do, but if you really think about it, you don't really have to do them? There's a lot of habit involved. So just step back and take a look. What can I remove out of my environment that causes me stress? And then there's techniques you use within yourself. And we'll go into some of those in the next post. Stress and keto weight loss is kind of like a puzzle. 
but it's not complicated, so don't stress out. Meanwhile, chill out, relax. Don't take everything as life and death. You'll be a lot happier. Keto on and you'll make it. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.